show when we mentioned this we've already taken orders for 300 of them and now we're going to use your microwave in your kitchen for something more than just reheating last night's chinese takeout or your morning coffee we're actually going to cook in the microwave thanks to the sistema and thanks to Chef Tony Notaro. Sir, welcome back. Thank you for having nice me again. Nice to see you. Hi, everybody. So, two pieces in this episode. That's we correct. Get into this, let's just make it very clear what we're talking sure. about. There is a large Sistema container here that is two and three quarter quarts. That's correct. Capacity. Then there is a medium sized container, which is just under four cups. That's correct. 30, right. Almost 31 ounces. Both have their um, locking, steaming lids. Yes. You also get a little a sample starter recipes to get you started. Yep. And then also, a spatula because chef this is a cooker that started its life as a rice cooker that's exactly right they sent it to me and said Tony what do you think about a rice cooker for the microwave I said I'll give it a shot so I made rice and it came out fantastic which I'm going to show but well, wait till you see everything else we put together well, let me show colors real quickly here's sure. red I have green blue and purple so beautiful colors but here is what we're going to reveal first. And after this first reveal, we'll show you some animation on what happens when you pop it in the microwave. Correct. So what I did here is I made some, and this one's kind of stuck, so let me see if I can pop this out. There you know what go. that is? It's just a little That's suction. the suction. And that's exactly what this is for. It's to put heat and pressure down on top of the food. And I just want to show this off to everybody because Ooh. rice is not something that's easy to make. Buttery rice. Just made a little bit of butter on top, um. and I'm going to pour this out so everybody can see the capacity. And more importantly... Hey, Mary, there's no glutens in rice. Uh-huh. Got a big platter up here for you, girl. Unbelievable. Some, bu some butter up in there, too. Let me take that out. I just want you to look at this, David. I'm going to pan across this because and I want you to see the And look at the texture of this rice. Exactly what Number I was Number one, say. it's not sticking all over Chef's spoon because if, you know, there's so much starch in rice that if you don't cook it correctly, it's like it turns into glue. I mean, you can spackle your wall with it. That's right. Um, this is why you want to be able to cook it light and fluffy. So now if you're going to do what my mom would have done with this, she would have served um, beef tips and gravy over mm -hmm. that rice and served it with a nice leafy green vegetable because we never had a meal without a vegetable. That's right. Um, so all of this happens right there. But you're going to actually do some seafood over this? Yeah, we did, right? a, we did a low country boil. We're going to put over that. But you mentioned side dishes, and that's exactly what we did with our, with our offer. So you have the th uh, two and three quarter quart pan. So I like to call it a pan because that's what it is. And then you have your side dish. So whatever you're making, you can do your sides here, and you can actually serve in these as well. Or you can do the large pan. So you're for saying your maybe large. I could take the smaller one to the office with me? That's exactly and warm right. Warm this up in my office for microwave. For all your leftovers, your Chinese leftovers, your rices and noodles, nice. any type of meats, even nice. things like sausages. Let me show this off, David. I, re I really, I love Sistema. I use Sistema at least five days a week in my own home. Let me just take mm. some of this corn, because if you're having a barbecue. Why not take all of your sides, pop them in the microwave. This is two and a half minutes to cook to perfection, and look at how much we got out for all of those sides. Now, 700 sets are gone. Let me go through colors again real quickly, and we'll get back with Chef and show you some more goodies that he's cooked. This is the red, and red is always our most popular choice. I'm in the kitchen with David. There's no surprise there. I've got it for you in the green. Here it is in the blue. And finally, I have it for you in purple. You get the two and three quarter quart vessel. You also get the vessel that is just under four cups capacity. The spatula is included as well as the little lid. Let's take a look at our animation right quick. Sure. This is going to help you better understand what's happening inside the Sistema once you pop it in the microwave. Correct. So here we're doing rice. Put the rice on the inside, add your water. And then we're going to put that steam plate. I call it the spillover, st stop spillover plate, and then the cover. Now, what's great about Sistema is it's going to bring steam out. But it lets the steam, enough steam out of the vent so you never get explosions, but it keeps the heat circling around your food and puts moisture back in your food. That's what separates the steamer away from anything else on the market. This is not just microwave safe, it's made to cook in the microwave. So now you get a perfect grain rice or noodles like you saw me do earlier. We're going to show off that mac and cheese in a second. Here we did a low country boil. So I'm going to take some of that juice. We're just going to pour he that say over mac the and rice. Cheese? Oh, you know I did mac and cheese for you. Oh. You know well, it. I suppose I could probably force Whoops. myself to eat it. I think I got a little bit that kind of skipped out of the plate, but just you know what take I call a look. that? A jumper. A jumper. Yeah. We'll get this one in. Can I show this also because I want everyone to see about the cleanup? Oh my gosh, what it, cleanup? You rinse it out with hot soapy water, top rack the dishwasher if you want, and you're absolutely done. And then check this out, David. Keeping with the summer, how about a nice peach cobbler done in the microwave in under eight minutes? Beautiful. Look at how delicious those peaches are. Just lovely. Absolutely perfect. Don't miss out on this opportunity. We're excited to be able to bring this to you for the lowest price you're going to see on it for six months. And we only have what we brought in for the day because when what we brought in for the day is gone, if that happens before end of day, 
we're done with this. You won't be able to see a price this low again mm -hmm. for a minimum of six months. Mm -hmm. Now, here's macaroni and cheese done in the microwave. Now, did you start with dry pasta here? Before the cell, if you remember, I put dry pasta, milk, and, and cheese in, popped it in the microwave for 12 minutes, and oh, David, when I say ooey gooey cheese, oh. <laughs> I'm not playing around. Oh. And this is your show, so let me just kick it up a little bit with a little bit of bacon. Oh, well. <laughs> It's an embarrassment of riches. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm going to hook you up. You are so awesome. <clears throat> David, how's that for mac and cheese? That is perfection. And that would be your serving. <laughs> that would. Well, the rest of you are going to eat. That's mine. Exactly. But look at this. Look how I gotta much show that off. food. Here we go. I'll help you with it. Thank this. you. Appreciate that. Look at this. Just, and we'll turn that bacon over so you can see that a little better. Look how beautiful that is. Gooey, fantastic. And remember, the noodles went in dry, folks. That's what's so amazing about these cookers. So don't miss out on this opportunity. That's a lovely shot right there, Judy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, that's that is what I'm good, talking good about. Good eating right there. How you doing, kids? Mm-hmm. Look at that cheese. Oh, okay, okay. You know what that is? That's food videography. I love it. It's what that is. You know what this is, David? <clears throat> this is broccoli cooked properly. Look at the color that's on here. I love microwaves for vegetables. I don't do it any other way other than my grill because you're going to keep the color and nutrition on the inside. You're going to get that perfect crispy snap on it, and you're going to get excellent results every single time. So main dish and the big one, side dishes here, and you can serve it right in the same bowl. And remember, macaroni and cheese is a meat substitute, so you can serve that with the broccoli, and you've got a great meal mm -hmm. because you've already got your protein. Well, you've also got meat in there too because of the bacon. Um, all right, so let's talk colors and tell you we've already taken orders for. 2,000 are gone, 600 people waiting to place an order. Red is uh, no surprise, very, very popular. A lot of you are shopping for red, uh, but that's a staple color here on In the Kitchen with David. We also have green. Here is your blue. And finally, I've got it for you in the purple. Now, you will get a handful of recipes to get you started, but once you start experimenting with this, you're going to love all of the things that you can do with it mm -hmm. and the great flavors that you'll have. How about ribs? In your sistema. Check this out. I just want out. to show this off. I just want you to see ribs can be moist and tender in your microwave. So we took some leftover ribs that we had from the grill, added some delicious barbecue sauce to it, popped it in here, and this actually held two and a half racks of ribs, David. So when it comes for all your leftovers, like after the holiday and uh, Tuesday, you're thinking, what am I going to do with all these leftovers? Pop them into the steamer, and I'm telling you, it'll taste. Look, I'm just going to pull this bone. You can literally see the bone come. Right off the meat. Look at that. I was grooving on the mac and cheese. Sorry. Look at that. I mean, absolutely tender and delicious. So we do the ribs in the big one, and then our side dish right here. Oh, Gotta have beans. some beans. Absolutely. And just a little bit of beans, David. Look at that. Now, Chef, did you start with dry beans with this? No, this I did from the can, but this I docked it up with a little mustard, some fresh spices, and then you can do fresh if you want. And that's the great part. Things like farro, barley, Fantastic. Oh, I love farro. Absolutely. And it cuts down like barley normally takes 25 minutes to cook, 13 minutes. You want to dress up those baked beans, as Chef mentions, add some yellow mustard in there, a little brown sugar. Um, I sometimes will uh, put in a little barbecue sauce mm -hmm. uh, in baked beans, mm -hmm. uh, of course, some bacon. You can actually uh, slow cook the beans with the, I put raw slab uh, uh, pieces of bacon. In there and let them cook in the beans on them simple for sure. hours. Yeah. I know this is one of your favorites, even though we're in the summer months, when it comes to topping those hot dogs. But here's the thing, Chef, you're not heated up the kitchen to do this. That's exactly right. You cooked in the microwave. That's exactly right. And I'm going to lift this up. I want you to look at the veggies. Look at the onion. Normally in a microwave, that onion would be toast. It would be dried out and have no moisture. But because it's a steamer, putting that moisture back in the food, this will taste just like it came off your stovetop. It'll taste like you cooked it for hours upon hours. You get that perfect, delicious flavor every single time, David. Chef, 4,000 sets are now gone. We've Thank got you. 900 people waiting to place an order. Best ways to get through right now, QVC.com, QVC mobile apps. So let us say, strongly encourage that for you so you can go ahead and make those uh, choices. If you want to make the perfect melty cheese sauce, check this out. Now, Chef, one thing that I would do in addition to that um, uh -huh. easy melting cheese, yep. I'd get a little can of green chilies and yes. uh, the spicy tomatoes. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. The, the brand that I can't say. Mm -hmm. And you mix that in with the cheese and then microwave it. Oh my gosh, it's the best queso ever. Ever. Fantastic. So good. We'll put a little bit of greens on top. And let me mention this the way I did the cheese sauce. This can be hot fudge for your sundaes. It can be maple syrup for your pancakes. I love the fact that you're getting the large and the side dish bowl together. You know what you could also do? Put Get some chili on that. Crazy and put some Let's chili some on the nachos. Mary, go. we're putting chili on the nachos. Oh, thank goodness. 
Come on. Look <laughs> at all those great veggies fantastic. and the beans and the extra cheese. Yum. That's fantastic. Get some extra corn chips up in here. Top it with some guac and sour cream. I'm going to pass out. All right, Just a here little we go. more. I had to put a little more cheese on that. So That's what we're talking about is great, great cooking in your microwave. Let's take a look at colors again, and Chef, I'll be right back sure. here with those dogs sure, and sure. sauerkraut. Okay, now. What are you getting? Two and three quarter quart and just under four cup capacity. So two vessels with their locking uh, vented lids, your spatula and your starter recipes. Red is most popular. I have it in green. Here is your blue. And here is your purple. So don't miss out on this. We've already taken orders for 4,500. 800 people on the phone lines. Wow. We do have a quick uh, time for a quick call. Marina Yay. joining us in Minnesota. Marina, how are you? I am awesome. How are you? We're doing very well. We hope you're having a nice holiday weekend. I am having a wonderful time. Excellent. So, do you own a Sistema or are you buying this today? I own it. I've owned it for over a year. Yay. So, what are you cooking in your Sistema most often? Well, I'm alone. I live alone now, so I've kind of shied away from pork, you know, like roasts and big soups. But with my little Sistema, I sear my meat first, like for a pork roast. And I steam it in my sistema, and it is so awesome with my vegetables. It's fabulous, and it's just a wonderful meal. Oh, that's awesome. perfect. That just is so perfect. cool. So glad that you're enjoying yours. What would you say to people at home, maybe who are watching this and saying, wow, food looks great, but can I really do that at home? What would you say to them? You absolutely can do that. I've made many things, vegetables, rice. Hot rolls and it's just like a little mini pressure cooker. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. She said it. That's that's actually really good that you said that, Marina, because it does keep that pressure and heat down on the food and that moisture. Most importantly, how'd you find the cleanup? Was it quick for you? Oh, absolutely. It just slides right out. Love it. That is perfect. Marina, we'll uh, encourage you to stick around. We've got a lot more to share with you, including spurtles, which are coming up next. Okay. Awesome. I'll be watching. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend, sweetie. Bye. Hi, David. Bye bye. bye bye. Thank you. Gorgeous green Look beans. Look at these beans. Perfectly steamed. Are those garlic green beans? These are garlic green beans with a little bell pepper. Whoo! Yeah, right, I hear me, you, um, Chef, if you'll join me down here, because I am going to update sure. everyone on colors and let you know red has been most popular. Here's your green. Here's blue. Here's purple. We've now taken orders for over six. Thousand oh of my. these. You don't want to wait because this price only good until end of day today and only while supplies last. Chef, before we let you go, a little trivia question. Ah, all right. We're making my maple glazed bacon sliders, sir, with a homemade slaw. Your question has to do with maple. Hmm. Okay, maple is the official flavor of which state? Is it West Virginia, Vermont, Texas, or New Hampshire? Wow, it's between two, but I'm going to go with what I buy, Vermont. Vermont is correct. Yes. All right. Actually, my researcher put in New York, but I threw in New Hampshire because <laughs> I figured that would be more more cl closer. We do have good maple out of New York. Mm -hmm. Upstate. Upstate. Well, th uh, oh, this whole region has good. That's uh, correct. Vermont is probably best known for Vermont. it. Vermont. According to foodreference.com, maple was uh, designated as the official flower of Vermont in wow. 94, 1994. The Vermont Quarter also commemorates sap collecting for maple sugar, and the sugar maple is Vermont State Tree. Wow. That's so cool. All right, young man. Thanks, David. So, uh, thank you, sir. Thanks for Enjoy having me. Enjoy the rest Thanks of Thanks, everybody. Weekend. Happy holidays. Always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. All right, we're going to be working on my recipe coming up, but right now, let's get mad hungry up in here. All right. And welcome back, Lucinda thank you, my darling. Scala Quinn. Wonderful to see you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move your arm back so I can give you a hug. I wanted you to are, match you today. Look at you. You look 